Evening. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Donna Terrell. I'm Kevin Kelly. The theft happened overnight at the Arkansas State Fairgrounds in what is believed to be a well orchestrated attack. Our Katrin ASAP is live there right now, and she is going to tell us how things are going so far. Katrin. That's right, Kevin, Donna, right now we're at the state fairgrounds, which are locked up tight, but these gates and wires didn't stop thieves from breaking into the Hall of Industry and making off with merchandise that vendors had put away for the night. Now, fairgrounds staff are questioning how this could have happened and what comes next. The Arkansas fairgrounds sit empty and quiet as staff lock up following a weekend full of activity. Our first event for the new year was a uh, gun show. The Grounds Hall of Industry hosted the three-day firearm convention, an event that drew a large crowd. I would estimate that thousands of people uh, came through. But some attendants weren't there to browse. As Saturday drew on, thieves were setting their targets and creating a plan. As night fell, they struck. It appears there was a break-in of the Hall of Industry. It looks fairly well orchestrated. Robbers took guns and ammo off of vendor displays, avoiding the sole security guard patrolling the hall. White says this has never happened before at the fair. This is the first event of this kind that we've ever had. But the plot was captured on these scattered around the property. We do have security cameras in place. Now LRPD is pouring over footage, trying to track down weapons left unaccounted for. For the fairgrounds, they're looking at new security measures to make sure this is a one-time incident. We're going to take those steps to make sure that our patrons and our exhibitors are safe. Now, it's not clear right now how many guns or cases of ammo were taken in this incident or how many thieves were involved. Of course, this is still an ongoing investigation, and we will continue to keep you updated. We should have more information coming as soon as tomorrow. Reporting at the State Fairgrounds, I'm Katrin Asaf. Back to you. Hey, Katrin, you have to wonder if this was an inside job because the thieves had to have known that there was just one security guard on duty, and they had to know how to dodge that person. Yes, that's right. Officials do believe that these people either uh, were aware of the area or had come to the previous days of the gun show to scout out which things they were going to take as well as who possibly would be on guard. It was a very well orchestrated attack and right now they're just trying to track down how many people were involved, who could have done this, and hopefully get those weapons back. Okay, and like you said, we'll keep following it. Thank you, Katrin.